Thank you for your interest in ProjectCAD. This tutorial is dedicated to 3D modeling with ProjectCAD Professional. We will be showing you here the basic and secure 3D functions of ProjectCAD. So this is the ProjectCAD interface. It contains the main menu at the top, drawer and modify toolbars on the side, and before we start we should add some additional toolbars. Render, Solids, Solid Editing, View and Shade. You've got the option to dock plates anywhere within the workspace. You see the toolbar configuration command in the command bar. The command bar is at the bottom and it is very important to pay attention to what is written there. To stop the command, you simply press the key Escape on the keyboard. ProjectCAD offers 3D tools to work in the XYZ axis. ProjectCAD drawings use a fixed coordinate system called the World Coordinate System or the WCS and every point in the drawing has a specific XYZ coordinate. You can also define arbitrary coordinate systems located anywhere in the 3D space and you can use either this World Coordinate System or the UCS. We suppose it would be also a good idea to see the usage of the View option. So we've got the View toolbar here. It's got top, bottom, side views and different isometric views. And you also have got the option to use the real-time sphere which also gives you the shortcuts of how you can view your model. Project CAD supports the following types of 3D model. We've got wireframe, we've got surface and we've got solids. A wireframe model consists of lines and curves that define edges of a 3D entity. Think of them as being the skeleton of a 3D object, which means they have no surfaces. We are going to create two faces and we start by creating a square. And then we copy this square. Now it prompts for a point, let it be 0, 0 and 50 units off in that direction. It then asks us for a displacement point. Let's view it from a different angle. We need then to join up the edges of this shape here. Now we are going to show you that the eSnap is on. Just make sure that the end point option is selected. Now we are joining up these edges. Let's render these planes with color. As you can see, we have created recognizable two surfaces into ProjectCAD and the lines. So, a wireframe model allows you to visualize underlying design. However, critically, it is individuating position of each entity. It can be time consuming. Let's take a look at surfaces. In ProjectCAD, surface models consist of edges and surfaces between these edges. Surfaces are simply polygon-based wireframe mesh. Project Cat allows you to work with surfaces in a number of ways. First method involves applying thickness to your 2D planner entity. So to start we type in thickness. Then we type in 100 units. Let's have a polygon of 5 sides. Let's have a look at it from the side view. There we have it. Now we've got the option to modify this thickness. Let's change it to 20 and you can see that Project Cut just automatically updates the path. So essentially we've still got a 2D entity, but the line thickness here creates us the recognizable surface meshed face approximation. We'll see what we mean after we've rendered it. The other option we've got is to work with 3D Surfaces toolbar. Let's select the Wedge option. We create the base and at the height of 20. Let's look at it from the side. If we render it, we can have a quick look. So all the surfaces have been rendered. Just render that again from the side view. There we go. 
So this method is extremely quick and easy to model simple objects. Working with surfaces it can often be difficult to create them when more complex models are required for manufacturing purposes. That's why we might work with solids. 3D solids, which are 3D assets entities that consist of faces and edges. Assets solids have 3D volume and are easier to work with than wireframe and surface models. We've got the option to work with this 3D command. We're going to create a shape here. Now we're going to extrude it and we enter the height of 100. Let's go and look at the angle taper now. The taper can provide designers with the basic draft and the angle for the part if we are designing plastic parts for molding. Then we enter an angle too. First you can see from this part the top part of the shape um, it is slightly tapering. The other option we have is to work with the solids toolbar. The solids that we have here are also referred to as primitive because we don't require any reference geometry. Let's start by creating a cylinder. We can create the radius first, then it asks us for the height of the cylinder. We are going to type in 50. We just can jolt this slightly so you can see the cylinder there. Now we are going to create a second cylinder. Let's get it inside this current one. First we make sure that we've got the center option to create the cylinder. We also need to make sure that it will touch the base circle of the cylinder. Um, it prompts for the height. We are specifying the height of 100. Let's have a look at the shape. Actually, we might shade it first. To get a better representation, we might also add some coloring. So we could see it a little bit better and uh, then shade it again. So you can see we've got two shapes. Now we are going to work with the subtract command in the solid editing. This kind of Boolean volume addition and subtraction modeling is only possible using on assets solids and not on mesh objects. So what we are going to do is we select this command and it prompts to subtract and we select the object to subtract from. We select the outer cylinder, then we press enter. And then it prompts for an object to subtract. We need to press the inner cylinder. Press enter, there you go. We shaped it and then you can see the inner cylinder has been removed. Now we are going to show you some of the editing functions we have available. We can open the modify toolbar and look at the fillet command. It's going to ask us for a fillet radius. We select 5. Now we are going to select chain. We've got the edge that we want highlighted there. We've reshaded it again and you can see the smooth that the outer edge has got now there. Let's just redo this function again with the inner circle. We've selected the entity, the fillet radius, we select chain, we select the inner circle of the shape and as you can see we've got it filleted. Now we're just going to orientate the shape around and we're going to show you the shelling command. It prompts to select a 3D solid. It asks us to remove the face that we want then it asks us for the offset distance. If we reshape that, you can see it's pretty much removed material from the inside of the entity. Uh, if we quickly just render this shape for you, that's what it would look like. Disadvantages of working with solids are of that. It just means a larger size, it just contains more information, so that may mean uh, you may need better computer requirements. Some advantages, uh, it's more professional than working with the polygon mesh. You've got curves, arcs, splines and circles. You can also create more complex models faster using the Boolean commands and you can send to other CAD CAM programs to be translated and manufactured. Thank you for watching this 3D modeling tutorial for ProjectCAD.